Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is suction and evacuation, which is a surgical procedure used in gynae in which vacuum or suction apparatus is used. What are the indications of suction and evacuation? Suction and evacuation uses suction method to remove uterine contents and the products of conception in different conditions, for example, after miscarriage or after molar pregnancy. How to prepare a patient for suction and evacuation? Explain the procedure to the patient, possible intra and post operative complications, and address to her concerns sympathetically. Correct anemia before the procedure. Bring HB to at least 11 gram per deciliter before the procedure. Explain the risk of requiring intraoperative and postoperative transfusion. Order to arrange two to four units of blood and arranged donor inform blood bank hematology department in case more blood is required. Take well informed consent for surgery and anesthesia. Also take high risk consent and consent for hysterectomy in case of excessive uncontrollable bleeding. Take anesthetist opinion regarding the fitness for anesthesia. Senior anesthetist will be doing anesthesia fitness and senior gynecologist must be performing the procedure. Keep the patient nail by mouth from midnight. Shift the patient to OT early morning after changing OT dress. In OT. Reassessment is done by senior anesthetist. Ask the patient to empty her bladder before the procedure. Give general anesthesia to the patient. And senior anesthetist will be giving the general anesthesia. Give prophylactic first dose of antibiotic because it is the critical time for contamination of blood with ascending organisms. Make an appropriate lithotomy position of the patient because we will be performing this procedure in lithotomy position. After scrubbing, clean and drip the patient. Do by manual examination and assess the uterine size. Do not pass the uterine sound because there is increased risk of perforation in such case. Under good light, Pass Cusco's speculum to visualize the cervix and clean it with a three swap. If the cervix is not sufficiently dilated, dilate it with a Hager's dilator first. Attach the suction cannula or catheter or phlegus tube of 12 mm to a suction tube and suction machine and start suctioning. Do not give syntocinon during the procedure because of increased risk of dissemination of the molar tissue with the repeated contractions and that increases the risk of chemotherapy demand. But if the patient is bleeding heavily, what are we left with? The other choices which we have in such case is to use injection ergometrine or methadrine. So if patient is heavily bleeding, then give single dose of injection ergometrine but methargine is given if normal pp because that causes single uterine contraction and there is no risk of or no increased demand of chemotherapy then once the cavity is empty start syntocinone infusion at the rate of 60 to 80 units in one liter of ringer lactate drip slow at the rate of about eight drops per minute for three to four hours give coagulation promoting agent injection transamine one gram iv stat and repeat after 30 minutes maximum two grams send the product of conception for histopathology in the specimen bottle Remove the Cusco speculum, reposition the patient and dress her up and shift her to the recovery room. What are the possible intraoperative complications of suction and evacuation? Those include, first of all, the general anesthesia associated risks like respiratory and cardiac arrest. Secondly, there is increased risk of heavy intraoperative bleeding, risk of the molar tissue embolization and risk of uterine perforation. What are the post-operative complications? Those include persistent vaginal bleeding, thromboembolism, chest infection due to general anesthesia. Now, how would you provide the post-operative care? Nail by mouth for 24 hours. Strict vital records like BP pulse temperature. 
EB bleeding record half hourly. Blood transfusion if bleed heavily. Once the patient is stable, she would be consulted about the need for long term follow up. So thank you so much. That was all about suction and evacuation, a very important talks and OSCE station. Subscribe on OBS and Gaini Allah Hafiz.